it's gonna be Pierre. It's gotta be. For Maxim? Pierre? The name is Pierre. P-I-E-R-E. -E. Alright. Are we good to go? I think just give us a one or two more minutes and we should be ready to roll. Y'all ready? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Ready to go? Okay. In uh, five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck, dude. Welcome to a better game than Dragon. <laughs> All right, so this is Lufia 2 Ancient Cave. Uh, oh, I missed the words. A lot of people are probably familiar with the normal game, but this is uh, a little bit different. This is a side quest mini game uh, involved. After you beat the game twice, you can access gift mode. Oh, yeah, are we going with Flash for the capsule monster? It is Flash. All right. Wow, what's he named? Pierre. Perfect. That's what we want. <laughs> Enjoy, Pierre. So the ancient cave, uh, in short summary, is a hundred floor cave that is randomly generated uh, completely. So unlike most of the runs you've been seeing, we have no idea what is going to happen. Uh, we do have strats and we do have, you know, ways we're going to go about this run just to play it as safe as possible, but you never know what's going to happen with the ancient cave. Never. It's what makes it exciting. Yeah. So, as you can see at the beginning there, Zach was able to choose his party members from anybody in the actual game, as well as choose his capsule monster, which is the little pet you'll see once he gets into a battle. And uh, unfortunately, we had to go with Flash, uh, which is not the one we would normally pick, but uh, people love to watch Zach suffer. So, <laughs> we're going with Flash. Uh, right off the bat, there's a heel tile. So throughout the cave, uh, you're going to see a bunch of bushes and chests and enemies. And under some of the bushes, you'll find heal tiles, which will restore your HP to full. Uh, they're very helpful, but they're very rare. So finding one on floor, what, two, one, two, is not really that useful. So uh, I guess we can do a, a quick roll call. I am That's Fair Zach. I've been running this game for about three years. I'm Shadow Killer 4826. I'm Dragon Dark. And I'm Kobai. Shoutouts to Flash. Yeah, absolutely Flash. Good Base work. Flash keeping us alive. Man. You're welcome for that, by the way, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, usually we use uh, Capsule Monster Sully. That's because it does the most damage, but uh, he's also the fastest. But they voted for Flash because they want to see me lose. Flash is uh, relatively useless on the whole. Uh, he likes to heal, which you would think is a good thing, but he never heals the person that needs healing. So you'll see him heal people with full life the whole run. And uh, his attack is pretty pretty low, so he's not going to be doing much damage. Uh, like, Kind of like, I guess, Pokemon, you can upgrade your capsule monsters, as we'll see later in the run. And uh, Flash will learn some attack spells that are useful, but it just takes a while to get there. So, Zach just found a ring. Um, this game has some issues on the whole. There's a lot of programming errors, and one of those is that you can only find rings and shields and helms. Speedy ring, dude. Good. And uh, rocks on the first ten floors, first nine floors, actually. Uh, we don't really know why that happens, but it's the way it goes. Dude, what, the, ring. what in the world? <laughs> so we have a $30 donation from that idiot you hate who says, It's all fun and games until Pierre shows up. Think of some, I would think of something clever, but I'm neck deep in pain. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Reese. Thanks, Reese, man. <laughs> oh, there he is. Base Quiggo gave ten dollars and said, "Rip in peace, cart." <laughs> poor dragon. Poor dragon. There's no poor dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone to a. It's, I want to say it's gone to a better place, but I don't think it went anywhere. <laughs> It'll be back to haunt us. I will say, uh, for this speedrun, the early floors are kind of slow, but it gets very exciting, very yeah. fast, around thirty and forty. 
in the actual any percent run of this game or the the cave we don't really fight anything uh in the first 10 floors we don't even pick up chests until the fourth or fifth floor or yeah fourth or fifth floor because uh there's really nothing worth picking up that's dire for the the run uh, like I said, the, the rings and the rocks and the shields and the helms, they're very useful, but not necessarily, uh, necessary, necessarily, necessary, all right. Necessary. Necessarily. Yeah, generally what we do is we don't really kill any enemies until floor 11 where we start getting, uh, red cores. Uh, they have a very high chance of running away, but if we kill them, oh, shout out to Flash, uh, we get very high EXP. It'll put us around level 9 for 1 and 11 for 2. And uh, that usually sets us for the next set of cores at uh, here around 31. We should be all right. Yeah, flash healing already, the person with the most HP. So what you're seeing me do, like going out of my way to kill enemies, that is not oh, wow. traditional. Wow. All right, so Trick is a buff spell. It raises your attack power. It's awesome against uh, the final boss of the cave. No spoilers. So, and uh, earlier Zach picked up a Thunder Ring. Uh, in addition to adding to your stats, the Thunder Ring actually will boost the power of any Thunder spell. So if you can find uh, the spell Thunder, uh, he's going to be in really good shape, actually. Any uh, Thunder spell, Bolt, right. Flash, Thunder, it all work. And he gets buffed by like 20% or something, 25. Buff and no! Alright. So as you'll notice, uh, the enemies move when you move in this game. Uh, different enemies have different patterns, and that's a really big part of this run, is learning how the enemies move and how to react. Uh, some enemies, like the buffalo, will take you know two, three steps for every step you take. Uh, some will walk in different directions according to which direction you walk. So you just kind of have to learn the enemy movement and be prepared for anything at all times. Another specific thing is buffaloes will charge at you if they have a direct line of sight. Right. Yeah. But that's only vertically. Horizontally, they'll actually move very slowly. Yeah. They move once for every two steps you take that way. And then there are enemies like bees that you have no idea what they're going to do. They just do whatever they want. Bees are... Wow! We are off to a really good start. <laughs> Pretty decent, right? Uh, <laughs> Destroy is an instant death spell. Uh, Has a 50% 50 50 hit rate. Yep. Oh my goodness. Curse goodness. lifter? Wow. All right. Let's talk about... El Magus, where are you, man? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about curse lifters and deadly weapons now that we've got that. So there are these items called deadly weapons. There's a dead, two versions of a deadly sword and a deadly rod. Uh, they are weapons for Maxim and Artie, and they are instant death with an 80% chance. Uh, they are very useful, uh, so hopefully he will find a couple of them. But the best part is... Wow. Thunder! <laughs> the best part is, whenever you find a curse lifter, you can uncurse those deadly weapons, and they have a special attack, which is an IP attack, uh, which will do great damage. Uh, it's a percentage damage to the final boss of the cave. One of the main things that we're looking for is uh, some deadly weapons. Um, if somebody wants to explain that one, I'm trying to maneuver all did. this. He just did. I literally oh, I just did. Something, <laughs> something else that we're actually right looking now. for, though, that's kind of going to be kind of important is uh, a healing spell. Yeah. We Preferably yeah. not rally. That's how invested I am into the game. I don't know what's going we on. We got with Flash, these guys. dude. Preferably not strong. Flash. Flash has healed twice yeah. so far. Yeah. And it's horrible. He has healed actual HP both it's times, true. though. Yeah, I guess that's all right. So you may notice that. Ooh. Oh, okay. Hi, how you how you doing? Oh, there's, a, there's a mimic in there. So this is a uh, monster room, party room, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so the way the cave works is every once in a while you'll get a room like this where basically all the enemies and all the chests that were supposed to spawn on the floor get put in one single room. Uh, it can be good. It can be terrible. Uh, but this isn't a too bad of a situation. So he'll be able to pick up a few chests and get out of there before anything terrible I happens. cannot see the difference on this screen. <laughs> Between the mimics? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of tough. So, because you have a lot of commentary, just let me know when I can read donations. Just go ahead right now. Yeah, right now. Okay. A good time. Yeah. $20 from Anonymous said, good luck to Zach. Donation money goes to Runner's Choice. P.S. You little hoochies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's still up for 
That's really good. I know that we're looking at the half minute hero uh, to the second coming any percent hero 3D hard mode has not been met. Okay, uh, uh, is that difficult? Like really bad for the runner? If it is, put it towards that. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to suffer, they do too. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I I don't know, but well, it's hard mode, so. Yeah. All right, do that then. Okay, I'll put that towards that. We have Danky Kong who gave ten dollars and said, "Thank you for an excellent week of gaming. I've been watching at work whenever I can sneak a few minutes to watch. I'm especially glad to see the money going to a great cause. This is especially important to me because six months ago this week I lost my stepsister to mental illness-related issues. I hope that by raising awareness we can reduce the number of loved ones lost to mental illness. This ten dollars goes to naming Celis Lexi. We miss you, Lexi." All right, so we just got to floor 11, uh, which Zach mentioned earlier. We're gonna find, hopefully, some cores. Um, they are the equivalent to like metal slimes. Ooh, blue chest. Yeah. So blue chests, real quick, are super rare items. They're usually really good. Uh, unfortunately, he picked up the crystal shield, which is female only, and he has no women in his party. Uh, so he can't really use it. So it'll be flash food here later. Uh, but the cores are the equivalent of metal slimes. They <clears throat> run away almost all the time, uh, but they give you a lot of experience, as he said. The thing about them is they're also a little glitched. There's a programming error again. There's going to be a lot of programming errors involved in this run, uh, where they have zero magic defense, basically. Uh, you can attack them and do almost no damage, or you can use any spell, the weakest attack spell there is, and kill them instantly. So. Hopefully we'll run into a few and get some levels. Miracles, okay. yeah. Yeah, miracles are the equivalent of elixirs, except they also revive you. So full HP, full MP, and will also revive you. Good, good stuff. Last, good. last chance for cores. Yeah. Just in case he doesn't get cores, he's going to do a few extra battles here. We want to be roughly around level 10, 11. Should be fine with that. We do have $10 from Deckard BRD. What's up, Decker? What's up, man? He says, thank you for the wonderful Lufia 2 community on Twitch. Shadow, Craig Spire, Squealer, and Zach have given me countless hours of fun. Everyone knows Lexus is the best. Oh, goodness. Good luck in Archfiend hype. <laughs> oh, my God. I love how the community wants you to fail. It's just... Oh, so they're yeah. expecting it. Yeah. Great, great community. <laughs> that cold rapier you just picked up and put on Odie, he equipped that right away because it has a plus 10 agility, right. and we want Odie pretty much to be as fast as he can be for this run. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of running away from battles uh, throughout this run. And the way that works is it takes the, I think it's the cumulative agility of your team. Is that right, Dragonheart? Yeah. And then uh, puts it up against the enemies. And if you are faster as a team, then you run away. No cores, no deadlies, no heals. This is a good run. Oh, shoot. All right, surprise attack is like a back attack. Uh, if you get attacked from the back or the side, there's a, well, from the side, it's a 50% chance that you'll get a back attack where the enemies strike first. Oh, I have position for a And you can do that to the enemies, as well, most enemies as well. Oh, oh useful. Baked flash. 21. Wow. <laughs> and we lost. There it goes. There we go. All right, <laughs> lost 8 HP. Keep him alive. All right, still looking for that heal spell. <clears throat> so in addition to heal spells, uh, I kind of talked about IP attacks earlier. There are a lot of armor uh, and shields and stuff that will use healing spells as well. Uh, so those are useful in a pinch, but we really need a there healing spell. There we go. Spell. That's for Decker right there. Yeah, light dress for Decker. Is this 15, by the way? Uh, I think so. All right. So floor 15 is the first floor that the elusive Decker Blade can spawn. Uh, it is the best weapon for the uh, 
king of the cave, if you will. Uh, it has an IP attack, which does around 50% of the max, or the current HP of the enemy. So uh, that's going to be hugely helpful if we can find that. And it starts spawning here, and we'll continue to the end of the cave. So we've got a long time to find it. It has the best chance to spawn here, though, because the item table is still small compared to when he gets down to, I think it's past floor 60, and that's <laughs> its last item. Yeah. Do you want to talk about item spawns? Um, I'm actually less familiar with them than okay. you guys probably are. <laughs> well, so the way the cave works is that uh, periodically throughout the cave, the equipment will add and subtract items from what you can actually find. Uh, as Dragon Dark said, this is the chance, the best chance to find the Decker Blade because the pool of items is the smallest. So as he gets farther and farther down, uh, more items get added to the pool, and he's going to have a less uh, less of a chance to actually find it. So he's going to be picking up basically every chest he can find right now just to uh, have that chance. So that's a guitar for some reason. <laughs> uh, the Sir Custom 11 is an actual guitar. One of the programmers thought it'd be funny to put it in. And only Lexus can wear it, I think. No, or one other person. Maxim can. Okay, one other person. Well, Lexus. We have five dollars from Valora B, who said, "Shout outs to all runners, and sorry for your loss, Dragon Dark. The chat still <laughs> loves you. Keep on gaming for an awesome cause." I, I think the game just knew it was time. This is a relatively slow start for the cave. I've got every lightning spell, though. And a, and a thunder <laughs> ring. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think. I do have a fairly long donation from Creed Spire. Go for it. That's $50. I think it's meant to be sung, but I'm not completely sure. I'm not, I, I'm not sure what the tune is, but here we go. Jellies are red. They'll quickly be dead. Mimics are blue. Frenzy will kill you. <laughs> Green cores will run, it'll ruin the fun. Ninjas throw knives, they'll cost you your lives. You found a Decker Blade, but now there's Hedora to evade. Triple attack in your face, can you keep up this pace? Archfiends will cast destroy, killing your run. Fun, enjoy, dragons perform Starbust. Stardust, blow your hatred will grow. We made it to floor 99, this is your time to shine. Fatal blow, that big blob, then let the Gades Blade do its job. Thank you for the opportunity to show off this amazing game slash category. Good luck on the run. Good. Donation will be doubled if you manage to complete the run. Good luck. Right. So uh, just so you know, Zach, uh, Creekspire and I, uh, what's up, Creekspire, are actually going to be donating, or I'm going to be donating a dollar per floor. So if you make it to the jelly, it's going to be 100 bucks. So no pressure, you know, whatever. Sounds like pressure to me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Gaster Carl gave $10 and said, oh, oh man, that cave. I remember basically living in there to find all 10 ISIS treasures and find out about all those rumors. <laughs> yeah, so real quick, we'll talk about Iris items. Iris. Uh, oh, Iris, not... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little different. Uh, I, I was thinking of the Egyptian deity well, Isis, right, but, yeah. you know... But that's it. So Iris items are, uh, they're kind of like collectibles in the cave. Uh, there are nine of them, plus you get one when you kill the final boss. Uh, and there's a, you start out with a nine in 500 chance to find them in any red chest. Uh, and every time you collect one, it goes down, you know, eight in 500, seven in 500. Uh, and then there are people like this guy next to me who do Iris percent <laughs> runs every once in a while which you try to find every Iris item in the game and then beat the boss at the end, and that's your run. Now, it doesn't sound that difficult, but there's only been, I think, two finished runs of it, and the current quote-unquote world record is 21 and a half hours or something like that. Uh, so Great speed run. Yeah, it is the best. Um, Shout-outs to Cruel for that one. Uh, he loves Iris Percent. That's his favorite thing. Yeah, my Iris percent didn't go too well. Well, <laughs> I got about seven treasures in about seven hours, and I spent about eight hours looking for the next one. Yeah, you just never know. Yeah. <laughs> Iris percent. 24 hours stream, all right. Oh, boy. All right, so every 20 floors or so, you're going to see a, a graphical and musical change throughout the cave, just to keep it interesting. Hey. Those are evil, deadly swords. Uh, we, we don't, don't like those. those. 
speaking of which, I've not found any dead leaves. No. Yeah. And as you can see, their movement is really not predictable, so you just try to stay as far away from them as There is possibly. one thing predictable about them, though, in that they will latch onto another enemy and we'll just stick to them yep. as long as they um, can stay in, as long as the, I mean, even if the enemy moves around, it'll just right. follow them. The other fun thing they like to do is go next to doors and just stop moving. Uh, so you're forced to fight them. They don't make a lot of sense. Fortunately, so, those snakes are all predictable. The uh, yellow ones always move up and down and won't move side to side unless you get close to them. The red ones do the same thing, just horizontal instead of vertical. So coming up, we do have some incentives for uh, East Total or Origin Toll any percent. Uh, starve or feed the ruse. Starving the ruse is actually winning right now. So those ruse may uh, not last very long. Uh, so if you want to feed the ruse, let's go ahead and get some more donations in there. Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall has quite a few incentives coming up as well. Character name, character portrait, and class name, which has no donations yet. If you have something that's classy for a class, you know, get that in. So uh, Zach just ran into a bee there, and bees are awful. Um, a lot of them have attacks that will attack everybody in your party, and they're always faster than you. So they can cause a lot of problems early on. But luckily just two, and one of them used Dread, which just lowers your defense power, so no harm done there. <clears throat> so yeah, as, as you can see, this room has a lot of enemies that move in coordination with the way he moves, so just take it a little slow and you'll be fine. Are you telling me that? No, just in oh. general. <laughs> I don't want you to go slow. <laughs> it's a speed run, dude. It's not going too well. There's, there's Iris Jewel. Oh my God. Iris. Go. Wow. It's an Iris there we Jewel. Go. Iris. <laughs> Iris percent begins. Yes, starting now. Okay, right, we have a deadly. Good. So that's the fatal pick. It is a deadly weapon like the deadly rod and deadly sword. Uh, unfortunately, it does not have an IP attack we can really use, but it does have the instant death. So in, in a pinch, we can definitely still use it, especially since we do have a curse lifter. So we can take it off if we need to. And having a uh, no deadly sword for Max, which is actually two versions of it, it's not too big of a deal. We do have destroy. I would like that 30% better chance, but you know, yeah. it's the cave. You can't always get what you want. Nope. Uh, so as he said, there are two versions of the deadly sword. Uh, you can tell the difference by the description of the item. One you can equip on Guy, Decker, and Maxim, and it has a 50% chance of instant death. But the, uh, there's no IP attack. So it's not very good. And the other one is 80% with a good IP attack. So we always want to look for the good one. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually equipped a bad deadly sword in a run. I have. Have you? Sweet droplet. I think you have all the basic elemental spells now. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, they're mine. <laughs> <clears throat> really what I, what I want right now is a heal. That's essentially what I need to get. Yeah. So I can survive. I do have a lot of items that kind of keep me going for like a few more floors, but after that, the run is toast. Aqua Helm isn't a terrible item. Uh, give that to Artie, probably. Yeah, I believe it has some agility on it. Mm -hmm. After I collect my chest, no rush. <laughs> Those rings, though, dude. Getting plenty of miracles, at least. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but if he doesn't get a healing spell, those will get eaten up pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Kabahi. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. Healing spell. All right. All right. We, so we in there. That's, that's really big. Uh, strong is actually one of the more useful healing spells, too. Uh, it is the weakest, but you actually get a decent amount of HP for the smallest amount of MP. Uh, so that's, that's a great find. It's going to be very helpful. And actually, ooh, ooh. Ooh. there we go. That's that's nice. Uh, so, like I said, that's an 80% death chance to any you know not undead enemy, and uh, we'll equip that on Artie in a little bit. Fighting lions. You know, now that I did it, I kind of regret it. <laughs> what are you doing? I need some EXP. Yeah. Didn't equip the deadly rod either. It's all right. 
50% chance we got this. How easy everything is. Give me times I failed in 80%. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's the flash we know. <laughs> so lions are actually relatively dangerous. Uh, I'm not going to say anything for a second. Okay. They have oh. an attack called Scratch, which will attack everybody. Uh, and it's really rather strong. So no scratches. Maxim did die, but we've got plenty of regains and miracles to bring him back. I mean, I'm all you do. No, just one regain. Never mind. Regains are your phoenix down for this game. They're giving you every spell, mm -hmm. at least offensively. Zach, why don't you talk about how the cave works with item drops real quick? Like what? What's well, completely <laughs> random? Or? Well, no, that you usually end up getting a lot of one thing and then nothing of the other. Uh, what do I get all of one thing? Like potions? Well, <laughs> yeah, like magic and potions, and you won't find any weapons, or you'll get tons of weapons and armor, but never find oh, a spell. Oh, the rule of two. Yes, the oh, rule of yeah, two. the rule of two. Any of you Star Wars fans kind of know what the rule of two <laughs> is, but in this case, there's three things that are essential for the run. There's healing, uh, there's weapons to kill the jelly, and there's levels. Uh, the rule is with the cave is you can have two. You can never have... Oh, wow. Oh, Silver eye. Wow. You can have two, but you can never have all three, and you'll always be adventure. handicapped by that. Don't pick up the other one. Yeah, go pick it up. I'm not picking that. <laughs> so that down there is a blue mimic. They are terrible. Uh, they they usually come in packs of three or four. They can attack all of your enemy or all of your party, and they're super strong and have a lot of HP for where you are. And they're fast. And they are very fast. And uh, they can do terrible things on where they spawn. Oh, now we can peace out. Yeah. <laughs> if, the run goes <laughs> south, if the run goes south, we can use Providence. So mm. Providence is the only way to actually get out of the cave. Uh, if you were doing this casually, uh, you can go I in. I thought it was going to be on the stairs. Yeah, right, we're good. You can go into the cave, pick up a bunch of blue items, uh, blue chest items, and then Providence out and start over. The blue chest items uh, you can actually take out of the cave and bring back in. No other items you can do that with. Uh, we have one more floor, and we're going to be coming up on blue cores this time. I know we didn't even get to see the cores yet at all, but we're going to come up on them soon. So uh, I don't think I even said this or mentioned it at the beginning. Whenever you start the cave, you actually get put in level one with zero equipment. Uh, you, you get 10 potions, and that's it. So you have to find all of your equipment and get all of your levels as you go. Uh, along with being completely randomly generated, it makes for an interesting time. I want a dagger blade. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm kind of pausing a little bit when I go into these doors because there can be a blue mimic just one tile down. And I want, like that. <laughs> but, yeah. But closer. Sometimes they camp right outside the door, so. I might get that. <laughs> <laughs> could, could have a Gaty's Blade in it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. That's yeah. a Gaty's Blade, man. I want it. You're going to get three of those. <laughs> now, here is the thing uh, the floors usually start meshing together. And I generally start forgetting where the stairs are. Yeah. It, it's just one of those things that just happens. Something you'll notice too when he goes through the stairs, he'll intentionally try to come from the bottom, so he's facing up when he comes through the stairs. Um, when he goes, when you enter the next floor, you can start with an enemy right next to you and immediately get into a combat. But um, for that first, uh, for the moment you get down there, monsters are always facing straight down. So if he, as long as he's facing straight up, he will not be able to get into a um, ambush. Mm -hmm which is quite important at this point, given um, he's very underleveled. Shout out to El Magus yeah, for the tech. The <laughs> so, I mean, we've been running this game. For, I've been doing it for a little over two years. You've been doing it for, what, three years-ish? That's all I've been doing. Yeah, and uh, a few months ago, El Magus was doing a run, and uh, he accidentally found that tech. Uh, and because a lot of these enemies move when you move, you know, like in a different direction, uh, if you hold the R button, which keeps Maxim still, and uh, push a directional button and swing your sword, the game thinks you're moving, um, but... No course. Yeah. What is happening? The game thinks you're moving, so the enemies will move, but you'll just stand still. So if you get in a tight little hallway, uh, it's it's a good tech to use. Aprons, dude. Aprons. 
So we have $5 from Rosalia, who says, Thank you very much for this stream. Your cause is admirable. P.S. It's a shame for Draken. The run had me very interested. Thank you, kisses to runners and organizers, a French viewer. And yes, thank you for all of the viewers, both domestic and international, for watching and contributing to this cause. All right, so that little white cube up there is a core. Uh, oh, two of them, nice. So we definitely want to fight these. Uh, and like we said, they'll run away most of the time, but hopefully they won't, and we'll get some much needed experience. There we go. Yes. Blue core stage. That's, that's a good one. Oh, Maxim here. We, we were just IP farming. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's it. So there we go. As you saw, I just got 11,000 experience. There we go. Lots yeah, of levels. A lot of levels. Deadbolt gave $5 and said, I woke up uh, early just to come say that you can do it, Zach. Yeah, I'm all fired up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least you got the one. I mean, that's, that's still a lot. Yeah, it's all right. Wrench. We're also coming up on another very infamous enemy in a couple of floors here. The uh, Assassin, and I did not say that wrong at all. This game had the best translation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the, uh, we'll, we'll see them in a little bit, but uh, they are one of the enemies that move multiple steps for every step you take. Uh, and they also have kind of global homing so once they see you they will keep following you no matter where you go even if you leave the room and walk to the other side to a different door they'll still be there waiting for you nice nice, nice. cool and they also have a very 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 dangerous evil counterpart called ninjas let's wow. not talk about them yet Three for three. yeah yeah let's not talk about ninjas if we no. talk about them they'll come don't get around by the way, the cave is sentient and knows what you're, you're talking about stuff. You may laugh, but it's true. No, it, it's true like I believe it. It's no. bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> and the difficulty is going to ramp up very shortly, very fast. Another core. I'll take it. I uh, won't take it. Yeah. That's what normally happens. I think I have every wrench. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you have Figoru yet. No, I got it. Oh, you, you did? did? I just didn't sing it, but yeah. we got it. <laughs> the wrenches are for Lexus. Uh, not used in this run ever. Did you ever No, I did not. That's where we're going to go to right now. So enemies, you know, just like every RPG, have elemental weaknesses. Uh, here's the Deadly Rod in action. These plants all attack twice. Uh, flash, please. Flash taking a hit for us. Less HP we have to heal later. You know, Sully wouldn't have died there. <laughs> hey, if he hits somebody else, Flash might have still healed the person that was full on HP. Might. Crazy. Uh, you gotta go crazy. Poor cores, dude. Uh, uh, no. Who said more cores? It's more like no cores. <laughs> Used to be a potion. That was its previous form. Yeah. Teleporting enemies are the best in this game. Oh, they get worse. Oh, that little green thing can kill me, and it can kill me late game in yeah. about five seconds. Hey, Tengu, oh. what's up, buddy? So these are Tengus. They move very erratically. Uh, they have a move called Kamikaze. Yeah. It, it hits pretty bad, but I'd actually welcome it. Fill my IP bar. 
So the way IP works uh, is it fills up the more, <laughs> the more you get attacked, and uh, it stands for Ikari points, so anger points, and uh, then you can use that bar, the points, to use special attacks, and then just fill it back up as you get hit more. The way it fills up is in proportion to how much damage is done versus your current HP. So if you have 100 HP left and you took 80 damage, it would fill your IP bar by 80%, but that is modified by your gut stat. Um, in this party here, like Decker right. and Maxim both have 100 gut, so they get the full amount, but Guy only has 80 and, Ma and uh, Ar Artie only has um, 60, so they'd get a little bit less. Yeah. Plenty of time to fill up those. So we're in the uh, assassin area, so you'll see Zach there kind of run in the doorway or, you know, swing his sword in the doorway. And that is to lure the assassins to him so he knows they're coming. Um, like I said, they will come straight for you out of nowhere, and the problem is you get back attacked wow. sometimes. Why are they teleporting so far? They know. They know. Vampires can are not afraid to teleport into doors and right on top of you. Yeah, if there's a teleporting enemy that's right within uh, like three or four tiles of you and you're in a door, it will teleport into mm -hmm. the door. And if you backtrack, you will get attacked. And there are enemies that you do not want to fight that teleport <laughs> into the door. We just, we aptly call them necros, even yeah. though they're called something different every floor. Right. I was kind of stutter stepping there because I had those uh, teleporting pumpkin heads. And that is what they are called. Dude, these Lexus weapons are killing me. I know. Me. They're good food for Flash, though. Yeah. Yeah, he loves those oh, wait, things. Speaking of Flash. <laughs> All right, so the way we make Flash better is we feed him the extra items we find in the cave. Uh, it's a system of kind of like a point system where at the beginning, the weaker items will give him points. Uh, and then as it goes on, he'll want better and better stuff. Now, you'll see up there, he's asking for stuff, and uh, there's another glitch in the US version of this game where he will ask for things and he won't actually want them. Uh, what's supposed to happen is he'll take it and say thank you and it'll get a ton of bars, but for some reason, it doesn't happen. He can eat that. Exactly like that. There you go. What will he turn into? Hopefully not a clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fairy. So now his, his uh, heal is a little bit stronger. It heals for 60, which st just means 60 overheal right. every time. But he can learn another ability um, after oh, some experiences earned um, that will increase the attack power of one of your party members. Yeah, it's, it's called Wink, and uh, it's actually, it's like double trick. Uh, it really buffs up the attack power. By it, the way, oh, if you're enjoying, enjoying the run, we have a blue Mimic Perler, Soli and Sally Perlers, as well as a Lufia 2 SNES cartridge that you could win and do this run yourself. Yes. Uh, we do have a really good Ooh. community. Ooh. Nice green cores. That's going to be a lot of experience. 33,330. Yep. So, uh, speaking of people wanting to learn this run, uh, I want to give a shout out to Creekspire. He made this awesome guide, uh, which basically has every enemy in the game with their HP, agility, their weaknesses, uh, what they drop if, if you get the lucky drops. And uh, even, you know, tactics to kill the jelly with, with, depending on what weapons you have. So it's a really good guide. If you're interested in learning it, uh, go ahead and jump in one of our streams and we can get it to you. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of information. And, uh, I mean, I still use it sometimes whenever I'm running. So very nice guide. No, I won't. No, no, no. So one of the, one of the 40s. Left. Um, this is the cave section. Um, get used to this because it doesn't. They didn't bother changing every 20 floors once you hit this point. Yeah, They're yeah, just like, eh, cave's fine for the rest of it. Well, there could be a floor back here. Well, it is ancient cave, to be fair. Even though it says oh. ancient dungeon. So the, the only good thing about finding 
party rooms on the floors where cores appear. You can find multiple cores, but I don't know if you're gonna fight through this to get to the cores or not. Oh, I'm gonna fight okay, through. Okay, of course. Yeah, it's mine. I didn't come all this way. <laughs> we got ninjas coming up. That's yeah. bad. Yeah, so the, en the enemies on this floor aren't too right. bad. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a 20% miss chance, by the way. The miss from Flash was a 100% miss chance, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> yeah, even though every documentation we can find about this game says the Deadly Rods and Deadly Swords are 80% kills, it honestly just can't be true. There is a stipulation to that, um, and I noticed it while El Magus was doing a reject percent run. Um, what it is with the what it is is the attack has to be able to do damage, and if your attack power is too low to be able to get through the enemy's defense, you'll just automatically miss. And if you can't get that hit to actually happen, um, the deadly the deadly rods effect cannot proc. So it's a 100% chance to miss in those cases. Um, this usually only applies if you're trying to do a reject percent run, which uses um, Salon, Tia, and Lexus. Um, Tia's attack power is extremely low. What was that? <laughs> Too fast. Flash is just trying to help out, man. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go around because if I go left, the core is going to juke right. We don't want that. Oh, oh everything's okay. going to juke <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So those uh, multiple-headed lizard guys are Hedoras, and they're pretty dangerous. So for now, we're going to stay away from them. I can get a Hydora rock from them. No, not these. Oh, yeah, the, the next set. Yeah, yeah, the later ones you can. Wink. Learned wink. So, yeah, uh, as Dragon Dark said, it's kind of random how capsule monsters lose their, or lose, learn their abilities. Uh, there's a capsule monster named Darby, which Zach wishes he was using, uh, which has an attack called Evil Aura uh, in his fourth form, which is an incredible attack. And uh, good job. Well, they all That overheal. Uh, but... He never learns it when you need it, so uh, you can learn it in one battle, you, if, and I've gone, you know, 70 battles and still not learned it, so you never know. I would love to know exactly how that works, too, for those abilities. I, at one point, I thought it was just based on the amount of experience they've gotten, yeah. um, but that's definitely not correct. Um, I thought it was levels at one point, but they can learn it without gaining level. Mm -hmm. So there's something else in, that contributes to it, and we're still not quite sure what that is. We have ninjas coming out. Yeah, so next floor is 44. Which I'm means ninjas. Floors, I talk about aprons. Oh, God. Uh, so <laughs> aprons are another glitched item in this game. Uh, they... <laughs> I don't really know why they appear, but whenever they appear, basically any armor piece that was supposed to spawn on that floor gets turned into an apron. So if you find an apron uh, in the normal any percent run, you'll probably just skip that floor because you're not going to find much else. Uh, I mean, I, I found three, four aprons on a single floor before. I don't know what's going on over there, but I don't want to go over there anymore. <laughs> We have a ten dollar anonymous donation who says, "Good luck on the run, Jeff. Watch out for those ninjas and arch fiends." Also, Flash is by far the worst capsule monster. Rip Sully. Sully oh. defends yeah. America. Alta Biscuit gave ten dollars and said, "It's too early in the morning to think of a comment, so I'll just say good luck instead." That was a comment, so thank you. <laughs> Meta Sigma said. Gave $10 and said, Lufia to cart, a chance to win it. Oh, man, count me in. Thank you very much, Meta. Yeah, I was going to say, we're getting a few $10 donations in right now, so I think people are wanting that yeah. cart. That Lufia 2 cart is, uh, they're not, like, super oh. rare over oh. this, but they are not cheap, so uh, that's a great chance to win that cart. That's a ninja up there on the top left, and he's going to come right for uh, Pierre there. Uh, those red plants may actually block him a little. No, okay. no never mind. There They're just go. not interested. There we go. Ooh, nice. First strike. That's, that's, good. that's a big deal. <laughs> um, I'm doing the Thunder Ring strike with Thunder because it should instantly kill it rather than take the 80% chance of having one survive. It should kill it. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Ooh. 
Oh, I was fully guy. expecting that on Artie. <laughs> 172. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a 40% boost that it gives. Yeah. Um, and it, um, attack buff spells can actually be used over and over in this game, um, and they'll increase your attack power further, but it gets decreased by half every time you use it. Guy, guy, guy. Oh, yeah! Wow! wow. Hey, what is going on? Flash. Flash doing work. And you guys donated for him to obstruct the run. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, he is the chosen run. The, cho okay. the chosen run. Oh, yeah. just go to these stairs. Yeah, peace out. <laughs> see, you, see you, ninja. All right. As like I said before, he went to that door just in case there were ninjas. Uh, if you come into a room from the top when there are ninjas, you can always get a chance to back attack them. Uh, from the bottom, not so much. So you'll see him coming in from the top of rooms most of the time. Get away from me. <laughs> I'll go this way first. ZNT Danielle gave ten dollars. <laughs> said, "Hey Pierre, I miss you on Parslight Shrine." Also tell Party Artie to visit us for some clown fiesta. Also, there are a lot of aprons. There must have been a lot of chefs in there. Sh shout out for the AC community. I always have fun doing bingo with you guys. Spider-Man can decide where this money goes to. <laughs> uh, thanks, Saito. That was ZNT Saito. Uh, he runs Gates percent of this game, uh, which is kill Gordovan Gates in retry mode. And he actually, just yesterday, Got the first sub hour run, which is awesome. So congratulations, Saito. Uh, sub one hour must feel good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not salty. So uh, as I'm looking at the timer over there, just so you guys know, uh, we're at almost 46 minutes, which is El Magus's any percent run. Okay. So Zach is taking this super slow and super safe. Uh, normally safe, safer. Safer, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, never actually safe. Exactly. So, uh, just so you know, I mean, what we do, you know, as a community is really try to go as quickly and dangerously as possible just to get get to the bottom fast and hope for the best. Uh, the current world record is actually by Yogi the Monk, um, which he did a fully manipulated run. So, and he did it on stream. So basically he did a live task uh, and he got frame perfect movements for 96 floors, I believe. Uh, of this cave, which is, it's an incredible watch. Definitely should watch it. Now, uh, that being said, nobody else does manipulated runs. Uh, so El Magus' run of 45 or 46 minutes is completely random. So he did it the way uh, Zach is doing it right now. Uh, so it, it's, it's a lot of, there is a lot of luck involved, but there is a whole lot of oh, manipulation that, and- There's a lot of luck involved. I've been at the jelly with this time yes. and then Sully defended right. over I mean, you, and over. And you, could, over. you could have the Dexter Blade and you could have great weapons and then Sully defends three times and you lose. It's Yeah, there's in the speed run, there's actually a really large skip. Um, if we're really comfortable with what we have, by the time we get to 41, uh, we generally do not open another chest until 60, just to save time. Every chest you open is about, uh, I think it's four seconds. So every right. chest you don't open adds up. Chest and the, the pool of items. Uh, oh. oh! These things that can, kill you. can kill you up like that. Oh. Uh, oh my god. Well played. Oh my god. So him dying isn't like the worst thing in the world, but losing all your IP is a big deal. Uh, oh, you only, okay. It'd really be nice to find Rally about now. It would be, yeah. It's not gonna happen, but it'd be nice. No, you generally only... Oh, wow, this guy. There we go. So the way those enemies move is terrible. Um, whenever they get close to you, they will not teleport. Um, oh my god. What is happening yeah. with this guy right here? So if they're within two or three steps of you, they won't ever teleport away, which is what you always need them to do. I'm gonna heal too, because they can back attack yeah. me again. So they'll they'll get one step whenever he steps. Okay, didn't move. Um, but they will teleport when they're far enough away, and oftentimes it's when they're off the screen and they'll just teleport right on top of you. Later on, uh, when they become leeches, mm -hmm. we, we tend to want to stay next to them. Uh, so we can. Oh. 
Nice. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Uh, we want to stay uh, very close to them while we're moving so that they kind of move with us and they never teleport. Those are actually called Noferatus. I don't know why. Not Noferatu. Yeah, I know why, but... No Ferratu. No Ferratu. That's clearly they just don't want anything to do with Ferratu. Yeah. <laughs> we have $10 from Severin, who said, You got the Zack, by the way, the sun. Oh, Go God. <laughs> uh, the joke with the sun is uh, I hate outside because there's outside there. Uh, the sun is not a very good entity because it burns. <laughs> this goes to runner's choice. Anything but ice cream Tuesdays. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Zach for president, 2016. <laughs> yeah, if I become president, there's going to be uh, not free ice cream Tuesdays. We need to get this correct. Mandatory free ice cream Tuesdays. You have to be eating ice cream. But I'm lactose intolerant. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Does not matter. <laughs> you eat that ice cream. <laughs> And every other day of the week, if you bring up free ice cream Tuesdays, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Phoenix gave $10 and said, thank you guys for giving me something fun to watch and occupy myself for nearly a week. Been watching since the first RPGLB, and I hope it goes on for years to come. Thank you. We hope it does, too. <laughs> I just want some of these, they were picking this one. We have ten dollars. Oh, you, you go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ten dollars from Crimson Helm. They say really been enjoying the runs this week. Everyone, keep up the awesome work. As someone who also suffers from a mental illness, I love that y'all are raising money for this cause. This donation goes to Reader's Choice, and I'm donating. Uh, I'm putting that towards naming Celis General Store because, yeah. The, Good it name. So far away. It's a very strong name. Right. You don't have ice and alka either. Yeah. So, so far, the only thing we really have for the jelly is the uh, deadly rod. When it gets uncursed, we get the uh, 1 8 devastation that actually you can use three times because the IP is only 33%, I think. 33, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we do want other items. We're looking for a Decker Blade, uh, Myth Blade, Old Sword. Uh, we're not at the Myth Blade yet, but we can find Old Swords and Lizard Blows. Uh, Lizard Blows is just a really high attacking power that anyone can equip, and it does a 3x uh, damage IP effect. And we are really wanting to get something here. Now, it, you know, if I get to the jelly, whether or not I kill it's one thing, but just getting to it is very, very difficult in a very short amount of time. Yeah, if anybody played this game as a kid, um, I mean, I know for me it took me four or five tries at, you know, a couple hours apiece. Leaving the SNES yeah. on overnight. Yeah, leaving yeah. the SNES on overnight. And that. then, uh, you know, coming back and doing it again with tons of blue items. Uh, so, I mean, being able to get into the cave and get to the jelly in a couple hours is no small thing. Forget about the MP. There you go, Maxim. So Cyclops, uh, are, they give you decent MP for for how you know relatively easy they are. They can hit pretty hard, but they're very slow. Uh, so if you have deadly weapons or you know the spells, you can usually get in and out without too much damage. Already is a one-man team. Mm. I try to keep t uh, track of the time, so how much time I have to uh, kind of sit around and grab chests. Because just going and exploring, uh, like during the speedrun, one of the things is once you get to like a certain point, I would say like the a nice average time that finishes uh, one hour fifteen minutes. Anything below that's kind of RNG. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, it really largely depends on where the stairs are because if you just get a chain of stairs just standing next to you, you're saving minutes, like yeah. dozens and dozens of minutes just by the stairs being like right there. Like I, I come in there, I would just run up into the stairs. In uh, actually, in my PB, in the last, I want to say like 25 floors, uh, I spent you know about I think it was eight minutes going 25 floors just because the stairs were next to me every time I went down. Are you, like, bragging or something? No, I'm just <laughs> explaining your point, dude. No, you're, you're bragging, I'm man. I'm sorry. I'll leave now. During the marathon run, man. 
We have $10 from High Spirits. Oh, hey, what's up, HS? Yeah. He says, how dare someone insult my Flash? I was so enraged I had to donate since my anger dome is currently under renovations. Good luck on run, Zach. Oh my God, seven of them. Thank you, High Spirits. Appreciate it, man. We have $10 from Oni Ryu, one, two, three. He says, been watching since beginning of the marathon. Keep up the good work. A chance to win Lufia 2? Heck yeah. Also, feed those ruse. Not sure what they are, but letting things starve is not cool, man. I think, of feeding. Yeah. I think a good uh, note to say about that Lufia 2 card is uh, it was donated by Wells JC, and it actually has gift mode already unlocked, uh, so you can jump into the cave right away. Uh, I want to so the way, uh, there are different modes for this game. There, there we go. Uh, if you beat the game once, you unlock retry mode, which gives you four times the experience in gold, uh, as you normally would receive. And if you beat retry mode, it unlocks gift mode, which is just the ancient cave. Oh, there is the cart right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's in really good shape, too. So that's, that's a steal at 10 bucks. I don't know, man. It looks fake to me. <laughs> Now we got Naked Angel, baby. Butt Angel. <laughs> so the heel did, did just get upgraded again. Um, unfortunately, I think it lost Wink, or did it? Yeah, it does it? not use Wink anymore. It's only second form. Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> I don't need the Wink. I just need the butt. <laughs> this could have been Buttfish. Yeah, unfortunately, could no Buttfish. Been. No, Buttfish kind of scares me. I don't like that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, all right. So these are no cores. These are worth a lot of experience. Oh, Three of them. Come on. Oh. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody clap for that. <laughs> Thanks, no guys. cores running away. I'm telling you, everyone wants to see this run die. Man, they're really not being generous with the weapons yeah. here. And that's really kind of unusual. Uh, by now, I should have a Decker Blade, but I don't. Well, if you just done Reject Percent, you'd have three of them already. I would. The cave knows. Trust me. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, no cores. Please don't actually be no cores. Oh. Ah. Oh, well, at least the green one's dead. What does no core do? It is uh, the best core, so it gives you the most experience out of any of them. I think it's, what is it, 66666? Six, 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 six. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Oh, just so people know, incentives coming up. Uh, East Origin, toll any percent. Feeder, Starve the Ruse. Starving Ooh. is still winning. $40 to 3250 for feeding. Then we also have character mm -hmm. name, character oh portrait. Mm -hmm. Party That's room. Mm -hmm. room. No, no, no. That is a room. We have a lot of stuff for Daggerfall, so be sure to check that out. I like that the character portrait Judge Dredd is winning right now. <laughs> <laughs> those uh, big red looking dragon guys, those are uh, salamanders and they are very dangerous. Yeah. Or they can be very dangerous, depending on if they use uh, one of their moves. They have a Firebird, which hits pretty averagely, but they can use it twice. But then they also have Pyroblast, which hits for like 150, yeah, 160. Yeah, it's, it's devastating. You get two of those and you're basically done. Just farm an IP. Yeah. <laughs> Flash. One more for Decker. Oh, oh my gosh, this, yeah, this is, is silly. not good. So those Hidoras there, they have, uh, if he were crazy enough to actually fight them, they drop an item called the Hidora Rock, uh, which is. Oh, 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 which is great, uh, again, for the jelly at the end. Uh, it does it has an IP attack called Triple Attack, which attacks three times, which is... Thanks, Flash. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> 
the heal's at least not so insignificant anymore. Yeah, they're pretty good. Has he used any attack magic at all? I don't think he has. He any. doesn't have any. <laughs> oh, not yet. How do you have Thunderbolt or something in this one? He, he does get a an attack spell in this. It's just he doesn't know it innately. Magmarok. All right, I'm kind of uh, pickle right here. Yeah, he's getting kind of cornered here. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, okay. that's the bad one. Should be okay, though. So if uh, you ever get into a fight that like this where the enemies can do a whole lot of damage, uh, as you can see whenever he's in the battle, there's a front and a back row. Uh, if, you, if you're trying to run away and you just want someone to survive, you've got a really good shot at just throwing Decker in the back row and running. Uh, he's got tons of HP, and his defense is usually really high, uh, and he'll survive nearly anything. I'd say that very cautiously. Really. But just to show you the difference, he's got 416 HP right now. If you were to bring Tia in here, she would barely have 100 HP uh, at this point. I love that sound effect. Oh, they are being very ruthless. That's not a very common attack. Yeah. Normally, they just attack or use fire. Maybe. So one of the the big time saves in this game is menuing, and as you can see, Zach is a beast at menuing. I'm terrible at it. Uh, and you can save a lot of time just by knowing you're menuing very well. So, practice makes perfect sort of thing. I want Basilisk. I was thinking it was going to be the behemoths. Yeah, not, not quite yet. As you can tell, things are getting very dangerous. I was saying the enemies are getting bigger, they're getting stronger, yeah. and uh, I'm only level 28. That's actually really low for this marathon. Uh, we're going to try and fix that. Shoutouts to the staff over there. <laughs> Y'all are doing a good job. Keep it up. Thanks. <laughs> so the way uh, capsule monsters work is they have five different forms. Uh, you can feed them just any item just to get them to their fourth form, but then you have to have a special item, which is a certain fruit uh, that enemies drop, or you can get them from the Egg Dragon, uh, which is like the hardest boss in the game. And, uh, ooh, eyeballs. Ooh, eyeballs? That's not a good thing. Oh, stairs, please. <laughs> uh, and ooh. that fruit will transform them into their master form, which mostly is a good thing. Okay, everything in this room is dangerous, yeah. by the way. Alright, we're good. Warm eyes move very, very quickly left and right. Um, you don't ever want to let them move that way if you can yeah. avoid it. There's a nice little zigzag pattern you can do to avoid it to walk towards them. Sphinx. I want that. Yeah. Old Helm, please. Oh, Old Helm, man, we love you. The 1% drop. What are you talking about? Old Helmets don't drop, man. <laughs> there is one time. <laughs> there's one time in three years that I mentioned Old Helmets not dropping. I was like, I've never gotten one. And it dropped about two minutes later. Yeah, that's a 1% drop. Uh, well, when you see me killing stuff, I didn't kill that for the old time. I'm killing because it it's a very easy enemy to kill. So I can get the EXP for it. I do not want to mess with him. I do not want to oh. mess with him. So that's a gold Gorum. Hey, They're buddy. awful, terrible, horrible enemies. They have an attack called Golden Mist, which hits everybody for a lot of damage. Zap is good. It's a spell for uh, Artie. It's holy based. Um, has one of the highest um, base attack powers of all spells. Inside Crash is awesome. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, all right. Bad pattern. Artie's doing really good on the instant yeah. deaths. I'm sorry. It's doing really good. So, as Zach said, Sphinx is a basically easy enemy to fight because 
Most of the time they, uh... Oh, that actually would have healed guy. Yeah, I know. Almost, almost fine. Just a little, <laughs> little to the left, you know? <laughs> Fine. For the most part, the Sphinxes just use Coma and Confusion. Uh, which, Confusion can be bad, but most of the time it misses, so... Confusion can be bad when, uh, both Max and Man already have their deadlies on, because then they start killing off your party members. No. Uh, no. But I, I want to go over there. No. Uh, they have an attack called Golden Miss, and it is very dangerous this early in the oh, I think he's up here, too. I'll go say hello. Chat's busting out some resident sleepers for the... Ooh, Ooh there, we there we go. Okay, that's a that's a start. Yeah, Lizard Blow is, like Zach said, is a very strong weapon anybody can equip, and it also is Dragon Element, uh, so he can fight... Well, not that he's going to plan on fighting dragons, but uh, they are weak to that weapon. Anyways, at the moment we have, we we are currently at a bit of a lull for donations, but I think we could get pretty close to thirty-eight thousand by the end of this run. There are plenty of incentives, and that Lufia Two car is looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, also, hoping that Guy doesn't fall asleep again anytime soon, because Pierre just ran away. Can't help. <laughs> Pierre is amazing. Oh my gosh. So. The story behind Pierre is, uh, is an interesting one. Uh, in the, the main game, Pierre is one of uh, a twin set of bosses that you fight in the treasure shrine. They're clowns and they're terrifying looking. Uh, but you can do this glitch called the level zero glitch in this game because obviously this game is the best programmed game ever. Uh, where you go into the config menu and if you press left on the stereo audio choice, you can select something that's not actually there, uh, and it can glitch out your game extremely, uh, putting items that aren't supposed to be there in your menu. And uh, if you can manage to m alter Maxim's name, uh, you can talk to somebody who says Maxim's name, and it will just destroy the game. Uh, It'll bring up a menu where you can select, it's, uh, I think, 255 different options, and each one does something different from resetting the game to just playing random cutscenes. And uh, Zach here managed to turn Tia, I believe, into Pierre uh, just for a split second, and then the game reset, and it was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me about that. You're <laughs> very welcome. Bad. And we just got a bunch of donations. So hey, hey, hey. Nice. $10 from Crush Dude Run, who says, Gotta go fast, Zach. Calling the Dragon Con on floor 98, Kappa. <laughs> Thanks. Also, shout out to Ghost King. Feed them Rue so we can see the Kamehame wave. Mm, this might be Kame a treasure room. Yeah. Kamehameha. There we go. $3 from Anonymous said, had to donate during Lufia 2. Iris percent may have failed, but may the Iris items be strong. Also, where is my Tia feels bad man? Oh, poor Tia. What are you talking about? There already is Iris percent. Yeah. You mentioned that a while ago. <laughs> it's just a 20 hour run. We're just getting started. Greffery gave $10 and says, hooray for awesome RPGs being played to pass the time at work. Michelle gave $5 and said, Hey, Zach, remember that one time when I got back attacked by gold dragons twice and lived? That was fun, but you wouldn't know what that feels like. That's what you get for showing no love for the mighty butt fish, you filthy casual. <laughs> shots. <laughs> best, shots. Man. Best of luck to all the runners. Oh, boy. Thank you, Michelle. Raleoc gave $30 and said, Better believe in the floor 98th myth that or myth blade along with the dragon con of course <laughs> oh why does everybody want me to die the zedna gave 25 dollars and said wish i could be with you guys on the couch right now but at least i get to watch most of it on twitch awesome to see ac on the big stage good luck on the run make the dragon con not be with you <laughs> money goes to runner's choice what's up zedna wish you could be here dude Oh boy, apparently Dragon Con is a thing, huh? Oh, it is oh, a it's thing. It's a thing. Is there any character that's not named in FF6? Uh, let me take a look. So, 
Real quick, uh, Zach is on floor 72, and on the next floor, our best friends start spawning. Uh, and those are arch fiends. Yeah. Uh, they are just bad. Boat, boat in cave. Uh, yeah, they use have they use thunder, which is a very strong spell. They can instantly kill you. Uh, they get two attacks. They're pretty brutal. FF6. Oh, uh. Everyone has uh, a name, but Locke has the lowest at just four dollars and fifty cents for IHOP. So you could. Okay. Um, I guess put all the uh, that money towards uh, Decon, naming him Decon. Decon. Okay. Lovely dragon con gonna go on over there. So uh, you you saw there that Zach got a berserk a not berserk not blade and immediately. I kind of want to go in there just see what's going on. I would. I wanna... <laughs> this is my run. I'll do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> so these are gorgons. They can drop an item called a gorgon rock, which is. Uh, it has an IP attack called Axe Attack, which is a 1A uh, HP attack. Uh, a minute ago, he had found a Berserk Blade and immediately fed it to uh, fed it to Flash because it has it's a cursed item and it has a very high attack power. So if you just go through and equip uh, the strongest equipment, you'll accidentally equip it and it's worthless after that. So you just want to get rid of them as soon as you possibly can. Might have to, we don't know. Yeah, stairs maybe. Yeah. Yep. yep. <clears throat> By the way, we are past the point of no return. That's not that bad. Yeah. Okay, now it's bad. <laughs> I think you're still on Mega Cyclops though. Almost out of uh, MP. Thanks, Flash. Yeah, good job. Actually healing HP, that's, that's rare. <laughs> Yeah. You have the IP that can restore MP? Oh, I can get MP. I have tons of Oh, do you? I got like nine miracles. Or seven, I'm still. These guys are also pretty slow. Oh, yeah. they hit, wow. They hit really hard. <laughs> yeah, really, really hard. Yeah. Uh, We're gonna have to run away if this doesn't hit. And they also uh, can use uh, fake, which makes them faster. So if you don't kill them pretty quickly, they'll start attacking before you, and uh, that can cause problems. All right, now we gotta get our way in there. Uh oh. Ooh, genius. That's not good. Nope. So there are four different kinds of genies, each for a different element. Uh, they notoriously defend, but whenever they do use their magic attacks, they are pretty devastating, especially when... That's not good. This is not yeah, great. Yeah, I can get ground shock and die here. I don't have oh, any big heals hello. either. Alright, All right, there's one. Alright, we're good. The defend and the absorb. You should totally give Decker some spell potions just so they can take it. <laughs> Alright, they should finish off that last genie. You used aggro that Archie? I already had it aggroed. Oh, did you? So, uh... The way a lot of these enemies move is once you get close enough to them, they'll start chasing you. Oh, uh, that's not good. Man. I'm sorry, Tim's over. That's not good. I could definitely die here. Right. Oh, faster than Genie's, nice. Um, so, like I said, uh, 
enemies, once you get close enough to them, will start chasing you. Uh, and the way a lot of them work, because the larger enemies here at the end, uh, that chase you... Jeez, come on. I know, I mean, come on. 80% every time. Uh, they are focused on the left side of their sprite. So you can actually get a little bit closer on the right side, uh, and they won't chase you, but... Uh, they will try to connect their left side of the body with you on the uh, And you can use that to your advantage uh, if you're trying to run away. Because if you run along the right side of a wall, they will kind of stutter step, which can give you some distance. I'd be funny. Alright, Decker should live, so I'm gonna run away after this if this doesn't go. Of course not. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. Oh. oh, I'm running out of reses. Miracles? That's all I got. This is a very unfortunate room. Yeah. I kind of blame Artie for missing like three times in a row there. <laughs> Where are the stairs? Oh, Down I see there, them over there. Underneath everything? Yeah. yeah. Only that revive. Now it works. <laughs> Alright, now that kind of opened the arch fiend. The, the floodgates have been opened. Oh, that was bad. Jeez. Yeah, those stairs are in a terrible place. Hey! I know it doesn't look like a whole lot's happening, but a whole lot's happening yeah. right now. I am, like, doing my best to survive, so I'm trying to concentrate. The only advantage of this is that he is getting some levels. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. That Archfiend, though. He's behind a bush. I have to go for it or something. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Nope. Uh, that's okay. not better. That's not better. Here now. Terrible. I don't think I have a terrible. No, I didn't get one yet. But... Oh my oh god. Party, please. Seriously. I gotta run. Yeah. As long as I don't hit uh, Pierre over there. Oh, oh well, you know. Oh, he's oh. alive. All right. IP farm. Oh my, oh my god. god. Jesus, that's an 80% chance. And they killed Maxim again. That's devastating. I have to at this point. Alright. Still alive. Barely. Out of miracles. Oh my gosh. If I need him alive. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That is not good. Put them in the back row. All right, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Holy cow! All right, this is this is something. This is a floor. Oh man! They're going down. <laughs> they are going down. I was just thinking, why are we doing this? So they don't follow me because I got those yeah. dragons to worry about, and that arch fiend's been following me forever. Oh, please work! You owe me, game. Like, seriously. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, the fact that oh, he's still alive is very impressive. This has been a, a terrible...
terrible room. Thankfully, the Archfiend is stuck now. It's, yeah. Oh, I got a this guy sword. They can Gloom Splash, but it shouldn't be that bad. Not as bad as the Genies are. I gotta make up a lot of time. Oh, get it together, Artie. Not having a really major heal is really hindering me yeah. right now. Like, I'm working with out, out of uh, combat heals at the moment. I have to take a big chance here. Party oh. Of Rip here. Oh my, oh god. my god. Oh my god. I mean, seriously, that's not good. I think we might be dead here. Alright. Alright. Right. We got out of there. Last miracle. Nah, he's staying dead. Yeah, that's what I figured. Alright. God. Oh my god. Good floor. Oh. Get out of there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That would have been yeah. bad. Those things, by the way, are worse than what was trying to kill me already. Yeah. So we have a $10 from El Magus who says, Hey there, everybody. You're having an awesome run. Hopefully, you can finish out strong. Very proud of you. Ten dollars today, Mercy Slappy, because the Chrono Cross community wants that to happen. Finish out the marathon strong, guys. Good luck to all the upcoming runners. And Bowie, put your bandana on. Shout out to uh -huh. Magus. You've done well, Bowie. And yeah. Thank you, El Magus. These can, uh, these things can have arch fiends in them, yeah. so we're trying to be very, very careful with them. Unfortunately, he moved to the left. Puts me in a bad position. All right. I think we'll be okay though. Yeah. I'm just gonna go up and go around. Oh. Okay. Thanks, me. Flash. Get out of there. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, if we attack the one to the left, yeah. I might have been able to kill it that turn. So, just like uh, our party is in front row, back row, enemies are actually in front row, back row as well. So, uh, you can attack the ones in the front row, do more damage, kill them off, and then the ones in the back row will take normal damage. Normally, they'll take a little bit less, uh, just because they're in the back row. Nice. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. That's huge. That's very nice. <laughs> Shout out to the people clapping in the back for RNG. Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of bad stuff going on here. Take a little peek. Um, that myth blade is great. Uh, it may still not be enough, but it is a great start. Okay, so we have to get past that uh, thing. Job oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why we took him. Doing work. Oh man. That Hades, like, it has that weird kind of RNG, but I could have gotten through without having to fight him. That could be alright. Nope. It did heal some HP. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Should be the last thing I gotta do in this little hallway. Decker's getting IP. Oh. We're gonna need it. Oh, oh that's it's restoration just, that's just the, anyway. Yeah. That cure status ailments. Please have an Archfiend. Oh, it's got an Archfiend. Okay, well, heal. stronger, that's good. What? Alright. This is actually a really nasty hallway. <laughs> Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right. Love it. Now, if we can get a Decker Blade, I think we have a very good shot at this. Yeah. No. Nah. 
Not enough Gorgons. Yeah, those Basilisks are kind of annoying. Kind of. They have an attack called Hold Gaze, oh, which God. attacks everybody and paralyzes people, and it's just a disaster. Okay, that thing is an Orky. I need to... I'm going to kill this just to get it out of the way. It's bothering me. If I get a Gorgon Rock, oh my God. Yeah. Pretty decent chance for a drop. Uh, I think it's seven percent, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot, but compared to a lot of the other be better no items, no Orky. Okay, it's pretty good. Right. You know, some manipulating that um, that genie up and getting it stuck on a bush so he could get back down there, and then the genie will just kind of leave him alone. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very precise movement to get that to, to get that to happen. I can't emphasize enough that what you're watching may not look like it's super impressive, but. It's crazy. Some of the manipulation he's been doing with these enemies uh, is much, much harder than it actually looks. Yeah, I think I heard earlier somebody said there was resident sleepers being posted in chat. Well, uh, resident sleepers about di guy sleeping. Yeah. You know, okay. guy fell asleep. Because if they were resident sleeping for the run, I was just going to say I'd like to see you all try. No, no, <laughs> but... No, honestly, chat has been very positive about this. They're loving it. That's super surprising, chat. I'd still like to see them try. <laughs> Gotta win that card. Thank you, guys. Hey, win seven oh. saga. Oh. This is not good. Another party room. All right, this is horrible, but I think we'll manage. So the good thing, if there is a good thing, is that he can get to that door, so he can just keep pulling the genies to the door and always back attack them. Don't ignore my question. Win seven saga. Uh, is PJ still here? But why don't we get Zaki out to this event? Yeah. This is really bad. Or when this guy finishes the run. This guy? I'm this guy? Aren't you gonna go back to Seven Saga? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> but it's such a it's such a great speed game. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, everything's RNG, including healing. <laughs> you just get a really nasty heal and just die. Oh god, that game. Alright. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. I that IP. Goodbye, butt angle. Don't kill it. It took too many hits. Thirty-six. That Archfiend's gonna aggro. Oh my god. I think I can go around. Oh, this is not good. Okay. I need to start getting, uh... Yeah, so those are wind genies. They are the worst of the genie variety uh, because they are super fast and uh, have some... Well, they've got a pretty devastating attack. This is also uh, very difficult without Maxim having his deadly. Very, very difficult. Like, I'm almost sweating. Thank you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. That was a lie. So he just used a, a freeze ball, which is 100% paralysis. Uh, unfortunately, the wind genius just kind of oh. shrugged it off. All right. Good. I have a plan. All right. Come on, genie. Come on. Who's a good genie? All right, dude. We got this. <laughs> no, talking to enemies is a definite strat. Helps them to do what you want them to do. But if this was if this was a run I was doing on my stream, um, it'd be a lot different. I'm kind of quiet right now. I got these guys with me, but uh, there would be excessive use of certain words right now. <laughs> I'm notorious for it. Yeah. And it's not an act. That's just who I am. This door is such a blessing. Yeah, it's right, a I'm huge gonna have to rotate him twice, or else he's gonna turn right there. One. Hey. Please, dude. Hey, hey, hey! What? There you go. Oh, oh God. Whoa, All this right. Is a good one. Yeah. 
Thank you, Angel Butt. <laughs> or Pierre, too, whatever. <laughs> Wait, did I cast Confused Ball? Okay, yeah, 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 I yeah. thought I cast it on both of them. I was like, I'm an idiot if I did. They don't look confused to me. There's no animation for confusion. Alright. Let's, uh... That'll be good. Alright. So, <laughs> that's the only right. time you'll ever see Genie's attack. Uh, they use Absorb, use their special attacks, or defend. If they are confused, they will attack. It's the only time you'll ever see it. By the way, these uh, monster rooms are very, very unfortunate. Oh, never mind. Right. We're good. Oh, I kind of oh, want to go in there. I don't yeah. know. Let's hope the stairs are not down there. Oh, oh they're no, right here. The Archfiend's on the stairs. That's okay. Uh, there is a way. There is not a way. No. Hey, buddy. Actually, there's a way. That's just the problem, though. I'd have to kill it unless there's a door at the bottom here. I don't think there was. Well, it was guarded by multiple. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. take that. But it could still <laughs> kill me, like, hor horrifically. All right, let me see what I got here. I think I'm going to have to kill it. Wait, no, I can break the bush. Break the bush and then run and then go All around right. it. He's gonna have to get to the left of me here. Uh, let's. That is not good. That is probably the worst thing we could be seeing right now. Stronger. Oh, I'd rather take Lumi than Thunder. Please cast Stronger or something. Come on. Decker should be. Oh, that's a really strong hit. Oh. oh my god. That was very, very... Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we're, not, we're not out of the yeah, room yet. What are you this, guys yeah. this is a, for? Luckily, this is a larger room, so he's got some room to play here. Uh, push, please push. No, I gotta go around. Oh, that's not good. Not what we want to start with. Nope. I need one, like, physical or something here. If you cast thunder, that's bad. Oh, oh god. Oh. Alright, now I can kind of get away this from this. This is why Archfiends are the best in the game. Not a regain? Miracle. One miracle. One miracle. Alright, miracle. I want that. <laughs> Sweet. Your, your trophy. Yeah. All right. All right, that's not too bad. Let's, let's start at like 20. That's not good. 29. All right, back to the, uh, no, okay. the old treasure finding here. We're still looking for that Decker Blade. Still got to get it. And I would say uh, we are still looking for more donations because you can win some of the wonderful prizes for this block, like that Lufia 2 cart that's being held back there. Very, very, uh, very nice. Uh, also, we have some incentives coming up for Elder Scrolls 2, as well as East. Are the Ruse going to be fed or starved? Oh, jeez. That's a hard question, but we'll find out pretty uh -huh. soon. No, thanks. I'm not going yeah, over there. No. All right, come on, Hades. Come on. Nope, nope. No, nope. There you go. Who's a good Hades? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. We were almost to uh, Mr. Dragons, by the way. Yeah, of Mr. and Mrs. Dragons. They used to call me he who dances with the dragons. <laughs> Everyone used to sit in the doors, and they'd swing the blade and try and, like, pull the dragons away. I'm all up in there and swinging away. Oh, God. All right. Oh, oh God. goodness! I'm gonna I'm 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 grab that one then. <laughs> you know, I might go grab that one too. Yeah, I can get that. You could. I, no, no. <laughs> just, just be a little careful there. All right, that is a uh, dragon, dragon. Yeah, we're into the big boy dragons now. Uh, I do need to farm IP at some point. I think I need it's little Maxi over there or Pierre. Sorry, Pierre. So there are three forms of metallic All dragons. Right. There's copper, silver, and gold. What's he doing in here? Like, what is he thinking? <laughs> just like, hanging out. Uh, the copper uh, dragons are the uh, safest uh, ones to fight. Uh, they only have one attack, uh, and 
They're relatively I really don't want to go in. Okay, no, I don't know what you're going to do. I have to go somewhere. Look at all the yeah. dragons. Then there are silver dragons, which attack twice. And then oh, gold Jesus. dragons. I forgot about the whole Kill row. You. I need to get them back. Oh, oh God. My gosh, all right, I'm not, I'm not going over there either. I don't feel like dealing with the Hades. Let's change this up a little bit. Because if they get hit by a genie, they're dead from the front row. All right, Hades, you need... All right, so this is one of those moments where I gotta like I gotta let him move. See that dragon in the door? He's being a pain. Basically, every time a dragon moves, they have this... a twenty-five percent chance to go any direction. By the way, this is the ancient cave. Yeah, <laughs> it's not really much that I can do about it. I gotta wait for these dragons to leave their house. Unfortunately, he likes where he lives. All right, come on. You're almost there. Come on, buddy. Yep. Mr. Dragon. Yep. Mr. Oh. Dragon. Wait, he's almost out. Let me get this Hades away. There we go. Mr. Dragon, don't go left. Sir? No. All right. <laughs> so the, the dragons move once for every... Or three, Shout out yeah, to the staff one, over yeah. there. Staff. Shout outs. <laughs> once for every three steps you take. Oh, man. You may have to fight this dude. Don't tell me what I might have to do. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear that right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. All right. Let's get him up to the door. <laughs> I want you to come to the door now. Come on. Mr. Dragon. Mrs. Dragon? Is it bad that I can't tell? <laughs> there we go. Come on, coppers. That is not a copper. I do have to fight it, because if I don't, right. it's yeah. going to get really bad. Um, eh. Artie, we love you. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, if this misses, I might farm the IP right now. Aw! When you don't It works for the first time, like, ever. <laughs> Alright, we're good. <sighs> okay, we got the stairs. Yes. It's always good when you see the stairs. These floors are not getting easier, and this is the point where we could possibly see Dragon Con. And Necros. Yeah. I never count the Necros out. Unfortunately, the arch fiends actually disappear at some point. They turn into uh, yeah. they turn into ice rogs. That's not no. A, the, no, the ice rogs can come with the arch fiends, yeah. and they're very just as dangerous, but in a different way. They have very low. Cool game. <laughs> Thanks, Cave. I appreciate it. I could have used another one a long time ago. Hey. Hey. No. No. Yeah, the uh, the arch fiend sprite will disappear at 87, but they can still appear with the Hades enemies. Uh, for another few floors. Final Fantasy 13 hallways. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere to go but straight. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Goodbye, Mr. Dragon. It could be a Mrs. Dragon. I can't tell. I don't want to, like, offend him or anything. Well, I guess I would be offended if I'm calling him Mr. and it's a Mrs. Can one of y'all check or something? Sure, I'll get it right on now. <laughs> Chainmail. Oh, give me that. Still going for that Gorgon Rock. We're not going, dude. We're getting it right now. This is where it's going to happen. 8% chance. Thanks, Angel Butt Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of well defined. You can tell that Angel yeah. works out. Squats. Oh, the Gorgon Rock. That's some of them Zack Bear squats. Oh, no. Uh, for some reason, Gorgons, they uh, disappear for a while, and then they come back. Yeah. It's like they, the game is basically telling you, hey, we, you need these items to kill the jelly. Uh, here's a very unfortunate way of getting one. Because uh, one-eighth is not a lot. Like, Artie's got one that can shoot three times, but I don't want to uh, have to do that. But it looks like that's what's coming to. I'm keeping track of the time. Oh, God. Hey, Genie. Hey, how's it going? Doing over here. We have a ten dollar donation from Conme21 who says, Congratulations, Zach, you are cordially invited to Dragon Con 2016. We hope you enjoy your stay this time. You're always you always leave so soon. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I swear if there's a Dragon Con right here. Oh, hey, Archfiend, what's up, buddy? $10 is to runner's choice. Uh, we, if we can get a deadly sword, we'd be in, uh, this place. uh, we'd be in pretty good shape, but, oh. All right, so, uh, the reason so he's somebody a, just called Dragon Con. So somebody, uh, yeah, uh, well, maybe. So normally whenever you spawn in a room like that size, there should be three or four chests in that room. If you go into a room that size and there's nothing in it, usually means you've got a party room on your hands. Um... Not, I don't. I don't actually know if you do or not. I don't know. That's unusual, yeah. but it does. It can it, happen. Yeah. Mr. Dragon, come on. Or Mrs. Dragon. Maybe it's not even a dragon. Ugh. Oh. No, it's definitely a dragon. I think you got offended. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Hi, <laughs> cat. That's worth gut. That, that increases your IP yeah. gain. Dude, these. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. That reminds me. Gotta, we gotta evolve the butt. <laughs> all right, let's see what I'm gonna keep all my three X's. <laughs> I can't like hear what's going on behind me, but I hear laughter. Y'all aren't spreading rumors about me or something. Goes that. Goes that. Tridents. Fight me won't be one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intentionally feeding them bad things, by the way. I think that was already explained. Uh, no, I don't think it was, actually. Oh, um, there's like a weird kind of way to feed it. I, I don't really know the formula. It's just I've done this for so long that I just know what to do. Uh, but this pet is actually eating different stuff, yeah. so I have no idea what's happening. So basically, here. whenever you feed uh, a capsule monster and it says yummy, yummy, and it gets four bars up there, uh, his taste will change, and he'll only accept items that are that quality or better. Uh, so if you feed him something that's lower than that three times, it'll reset his his wants, so you can go back to feeding him worse stuff. All right, say goodbye to the butt. All right. So. Thanks, Reese. I don't think you even saw any behemoths, did you? No, he didn't. Did we see what? Behemoths? Uh, no, I fought a couple, I think. Did you? No, I thought you fought the um, weaker version. Oh, Ooh. maybe, I don't know. Ooh, Ooh, oh my god. Jeez. Three curse lifters. Yeah, sometimes we go uh, weeks with that senior curse. Yeah. And I just got three of them. Oh, man, I guess if you try and do another run, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, alright. Okay, so we're at 87. Um, Archfiend should disappear, but now we got these lovely little green buddies, and they are very, very dangerous, and we must handle it. All right. Hey. Uh. So these are dark summoners. Uh, we just call them necros. Uh, they usually come in packs of four and attack multiple times and can instantly kill you, of course, just like everything else at this point. Oh, by the way, the fact that I'm still alive is nothing short of a miracle. This, like, literally a miracle. Those two floors were yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah. That usually, that's pretty rare for that to happen, especially this late. So the fact that I was able to get through that alive, you know, just... Oh, God. I mean, I'm tired of thinking about it, actually. I don't think there was anything in that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, hey. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Wait, it could be a copper. I kind of want to fight that. That's a big booty. All right. Double copper. Uh, actually, let's take that back. So, yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do here is... Uh, Maxim or Pierre, as you can see down there, Clown Maxim. Uh, I need to get his IP up. Uh, that's all I gotta do. Uh, we're gonna hope that he just hits him, but there is a chance he can Cinder Blast, but what is happening <laughs> up there? <laughs> he is triggered, man. Oh, so it was a Mrs. Dragon. I should have called him a Mr. He's pretty mad, dude. <laughs> Alright, uh, so what we gotta do is that IP. Now, we can't stay in the battle, unfortunately, because we don't have any big heals. Whoops. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. All right. Mm. 
Good healing. Thanks, Flash. Appreciate it. Thanks for donating to Flash. <laughs> oh, now fat. Okay, wait. Yeah. We gotta do something about that. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, All right. Fine. Uh, what else do we have? Aqua Helm. Helm. All right. Get rid of that. Hey, come back here. Stop! Oh God. Stop! <laughs> oh, that's probably not good. Oh, hey. oh man. <laughs> Wow. Uh, Thanks, Flash. <laughs> Alright, so we have to uh, bring that back. We have a regain? We have we one miracle, dude. No, we have one miracle. Uh, okay, well, let's just not make that mistake again. Unfortunately, <laughs> Unfortunately, this is necessary, uh, too. The cave is really messing with this right now. All right, well, let's do this. <laughs> wow. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we only have like 15 minutes left, man. Thanks. <laughs> Why is that thing faster? There we there go. go. All right. Now, there's actually two higher forms than that uh, Cinder Blast. They have uh, Diamond Dust, which hits a lot more, and then they have Stardust Blow, which is GG, essentially. You get hit by it, you're done. Yeah, the Gold Dragons attack three times, and they can use Stardust Blow three times, uh, and it, there's no going? way to survive that. Where are you going? Please. <laughs> all right. Come on, Cinder Blast. Why am I escaping all of a sudden? There we all go. Right. All right, that should be enough for what I need it for. Yeah. All right. Continue on. We're out of reses, too, so if we die, that's big. All right, so we need to find more reses. Oh, baby. Okay, you go in the corner, buddy. Those little rooms are terrifying with that sort of setup. Enemies that are teleporting and large enemies that take up four squares. It's just... Ice ball, we got this. Yeah, that's good. It's not. Thank you. That's terrible. <laughs> Our sarcasm can really, like, ruin somebody's <laughs> chances of learning this game. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Still hoping for that 98 Decker Blade. Why are you hoping for that? I want to get it now. <laughs> Gotta build the tension, dude. Ah, uh, shit went up. Alright. Okay. okay, we got another Ooh. res. We have That's... one mess up. Hey, what's up with it? Let's go this way. Ah. Let's not go that way. <laughs> Alright, now, unfortunately, with stuff like that, we're running out of chest, so... Uh, that thing blocking my way and me not wanting to go in there because I'm scared as heck, but, um, it's kind of critical because we need our stuff. All right. Okay. The fact that I'm still alive is, <laughs> this run is absolutely been amazing. insane. This is a really good run in my opinion. Yeah. I think we might finish just on time. Uh, you. So whenever there's a, a dragon standing by a door, enemy, any enemy facing down like that, you always get one step uh, to back attack it. Oh boy. Yeah, that could have been bad. Oh, get away from me. Nice. Okay. okay. Now, Decker Blade, please. <laughs> Decker Blade? Um, almost. If we, can, <laughs> if we can get that, this would be really... Uh, I don't know if I really want to go down there right now. We'll Probably nothing. We'll decide. Hey, Mom, are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was down here. Hey, Mom. Yep. All right. 
Zach kind of mentioned it earlier, but whenever you're running this game and you see the stairs, it's immediately a relief. Because uh, you always know you have a way out. I kind of want... Uh, 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 oh. Or he's coming you for me. You should be able to get out of there. There we go. Stuck. Ah. Uh, no. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. There you go. Uh, sometimes I don't listen to you, but we're all right. <laughs> Take that. Second ice ball. For those of you that don't know, it's the best item in the game. It Shows does the potions. It does minimal ice damage. It's great. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know why. Okay. I thought there was going to be a Necro in that hallway because that's what they like to do. As a quick reminder, this is RPG Limit Break, a charity gaming marathon benefiting the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Right, chest. Uh, we're gathered here up until Saturday night, early Sunday morning, raising money to uh, for the National Alliance on Mental Illness, a group that advocates and benefits uh, those with mental illness. So please consider donating. We're almost done with this block of prizes as well. So if you want to get in for that Lufia 2 car and the Perlers, please <laughs> donate now. So that's uh, the best healing spell in the game. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> No, 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 not at all. <laughs> I could have used that 50 floors ago when I was getting killed. Zev donated $30 and said, how is everyone doing today? <laughs> I'll tell you uh, in a so, few minutes. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> $30 to runner's choice. You deserve it after this brutal run. Uh, lock, decon. I'm not going in no, there. No, 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 no. I'm not going in there. Uh, by the way, that's the gold dragon. Uh, as they get more and more, uh, like, the stronger, they have the copper, silver, gold, kind of like the Olympics, um, except, you know, bronze. But uh, the golds can attack three. Uh-oh. They can attack three times. I'm so, okay. All right. All right. All right. And uh, they can hit you with Stardust Blow every time. And one's enough to kill you, so. And they have other moves, too. They can hit you with Zap, and they can trick themselves for no reason at all. I don't know if I want to go in there. I don't know where the stairs are. They could be up there with Mr. Gold. I'm going down there. Is he got a way out? Dude, I've gotten like six potions out of like the ten chests I've grabbed down here. Not good. Hey. This is a big floor. Uh, it's not big enough. We need the stairs. So that's it. Like I have to go in that gold dragon room or something. Was anybody paying attention? Because I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't see him. I didn't see him either. All right, come on, Mr. Dragon. No, I do not want to be in that position. Do I have to fight you? There you go. That's why they call me He Who Dances with the Dragons. What was over there? Just the hole, right? Oh wait, there could easily oh, no. be that. You gotta, you gotta pick one. I ain't picking nothing. Man. You need to go over there. All right. Could be over here. I don't know if that's. I'm gonna check here. It's the easiest one right now. It could be here. Oh, if he moves out, that'd be great. Oh no. Oh, if he just keeps going right. We can at least look. There we go. I need that bush. Yeah. It will keep him from. Sweet. Nothing. All right. This may take a little while. <laughs> I'm about to be overestimate, dude. But that's as expected. We have ten dollars from Gr Gramora. He said. So I woke up late, but it's okay because Zach's favorite capsule monster is getting the spotlight he deserves. This goes to runner's choice. Decon for luck. Will do. Yeah. A little higher. Well, there's still another one in there. Yeah, I don't yeah go but in. getting one out at least. Yeah. Where is the other one? She's just like, oh, don't door. go back, don't go back in. Come back out. No. Uh, all right, we're going to fight him. These, you don't want to take a chance of side attacking them. You want to go in from the back. Yeah. Oh, Ancient Cave, you're such a good speed game. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a run die or a PB die just because of oh, oh, this. Hold on. 
Oh, uh, they're doing something. They're dancing. They're dancing. I don't know if they're dancing. <laughs> they're uh, getting a little close there. All right. What? Not a single one has come up here. Look, I'm right here. Come kill me. Oh, right. ah, I didn't mean it. <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah. All right, we're good. We're good. Come on, dude. Okay, we're not good yet. Just need that one on the. Oh, no. Wow. No, no, oh, no, 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 please. No, no. All right, that's all right. We gotta, we gotta kill these guys. They're going down. Oh, a little, a little close there. Oh, I'm not in there. This track is being real. I would go down there, but I don't know what position that other one is, and yeah. he can easily close me in. It's kind of one of those. That's pretty good. Oh, we can get by. Go. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. that I, was was... Just... I had to think. I've been <laughs> dancing with the dragons for way too long. I couldn't handle that wow. anymore. Okay. Awesome. And oh, then... what's up, buddy? Thanks for. <laughs> that's... that's your battle trophy. Hey, could you stop that? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, so we have two more floors left of exploring. Uh, and we at least know where the stairs are this yeah. time. Yeah, so we'll be all right with that. Oh, hi. <laughs> How's it going? I'm not going up We're there. gonna skip this floor. Yeah. So that's a waste of a floor. Hey, you're not gonna. No, dude. <laughs> hey, get get off. <laughs> get, move. Rude. It's Cross Raven. Like, move. <laughs> oh, get out the way. Oh God. Uh, oh God. No, please. There we go. All right. All last, right last floor. Last floor. We have $30 from Kasumi Blue who said, Zeph, sad I missed most of your run. Good luck. You got to go three for three. In joke about things related to Shrek goes here. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Donation goes to runner's choice. I can't believe Shrek made it to Utah. <laughs> let's not talk about that. Yeah, let's not. All right. Yeah, we have the stairs. Um, we need to explore this yeah, floor, just, though. Yeah, everything goes to lock for decon. All right, we'll do. Yeah. That's mine. That would have been helpful a while ago. Yeah. Magic Fruit's kind of a special item for the capsule oh, monsters. No, I think that's it. It just gives them a bunch of bars for their ev evolution. And I think we're done. Yeah. But uh, there is good news. We made it to the bottom. Wait, we didn't make it yet. I mean, there's, don't get overexcited. There's, there's no dragon I'm in that still stairs. I'm still going oh, a little crazy wow. here. Or at least remember, for the sixth time in a row, oh. we have made it. Yeah, this to is, the that's jelly. awesome. We made guys. it. He deserves an applause. That's. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the cave did not want this to succeed, and uh, he did an awesome job. So, we're about ready to fight the 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 final boss of the ancient cave, uh, and this is a very special fight. So while Zach is getting equipped here, I'm going to quickly explain what's going to happen. So he's gonna go up and he's gonna fight the boss. Now, instead of it being a normal, you know, RPG fight, uh, you have three rounds to kill the, the enemy. He's got 9,980 HP, uh, but the good thing is he doesn't attack you. So nobody's gonna die. He's gonna heal you, he'll restore your HP. I want him, dude. I want him. Just, I like Sully. Just switch. Nobody will. I'm <laughs> Hey, Flash could do some Thunderbolts yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, like 300 damage total. Oh, well. Get that. All right, so um, he's, he's got three rounds to kill the jelly. Uh, and then if he doesn't, then the jelly runs away. So in the in the speed run, you have to kill the jelly. Uh, if you're playing this casually and you just want to get the key to the ancient cave is what you get for beating the jelly, you can actually kill your own team. And because this game is so well programmed, it thinks you win and gives you the key. Um, you know, I would suicide on just to get the key to kind of show you guys what's in those treasure chests, but I'm just going to show you guys kind of like what we do on the jelly, like how we handle this. Um, this trick. is actually a really good example on how to do it, too. Wait, what was that? You do have trick. Yeah, no. We're going to cast that with uh, Pierre over here. Actually, no, we can cast it with Max. Are you going to devastate every time? No. Rounds? no. Oh, wait, I probably should anyway, yeah. just, just to do it. So it's uh, a giant pixel. <laughs> yeah, the music is awesome. And if you okay. notice, it's not a uh, like redone giant jelly. No. It's just a small one stretched they out. They just <laughs> zoomed in. That's ridiculous. All right, wait, 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 
just attack tricks. Oh, I'm gonna trick with Artie. Actually, I should probably, uh... No, he's got a Sky Sword. We keep him in the front. Yeah. So what he's gonna try to do this first round is use his largest uh, percentage attack while kind of buffing and doing lesser damage because it's a percentage of the current HP. Uh, so it'll do more damage the less damage you do before the attack. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know when it's time, just, just to hit the timer. It, it's not gonna die, but... That's Pretty a good. good battle theory, yeah. Uh, it, and we do more damage when we're in the front row, so he's gonna be switching people around to try to do more damage. I, I should probably... No, I'm gonna wait. But, uh, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. I think here. Lizard Blow has a chance to 3x, though. Thanks uh, for donating for Flash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep it like this. Yeah, devastate. All or nothing. Lizard blue. This guy's blue is not worth it. Because if I crit, I get three times. Yeah, just I? attack. Yeah. It's not gonna die anyway. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Anybody have their Very calculators awesome. out, by the way? I'm sure they're doing it yeah, in the chat. chat. I can't see it, but Calculator. I'm sure it's... Alright. I'll tell you when. Alright. Time. That's about it, though. So, even though it looks like he killed the jelly, unfortunately, he ran away. Uh, but still, amazing run. Uh, yeah. That was... That was the it, HK at its best. It made it to the bottom. Yeah. That That's is, the hardest that, part, that, <laughs> is making it to the bottom. Yeah. And what I did, that was... Oh, man, those treasure rooms and stuff were yeah. insane. So, that is the Luffy 2 Ancient Cave? That is the Ancient Cave. Essentially, that's how runs can go. Uh, we can go a lot faster than that. This could have been an hour and a half run. Couldn't get the Decker Blade to kill it, but... Uh, I, pretty good. Yeah. I enjoyed great it. Great run. I'm yeah. glad we made it. <laughs> cool. All right. Are we done here? Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much for the Lufia 2 speed run of Ancient Cave. Even though the jelly didn't die, everything else that you encountered kind of did. Well, I guess not everything, you know. Some of those dragons are still prowling around. They're going to form a convention, hopefully, in the future. Anonymous donated $30, said, I'm loving the Lufia run. The Game Boy Color Lufia game was my favorite until the internal battery died. Rest in peace, Wayne and Cena. Good luck to all the runners. Leviathan gave $30 and said, How are you even still alive in this ancient cave run? Yeah, that was absolutely amazing. Great, great run. Iceplug gave $20, said, Next, I want to see you fight the giant peanut butter. That got a good laugh. Okay, that was good. So thank you all for joining us for RPG Limit Break 2016. Up next, we are going to have a fantastic game that is called... Let me make sure I actually have the schedule up. Uh, yeah, East Origin. Ghost King is going to be running that, and after that will be Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. Thank you. Thank you. As for now, we are going to go over to an advertisement. Thank you very much.
we are back. I would like to let you know that all of the ad and sub revenue that is coming from this uh, will be used for future donation or future marathon costs. Uh, for example, the marathon that we're having right now is all because of previous subs and previous uh, people who watched advertisements for us. So we do appreciate all of your help with that as well. Keep watching, keep supporting, and as usual, all donations, 100% of them will be going straight to the charity. Meanwhile, I see several people working on this computer, getting it set up, getting it ready to roll. We have some pretty exciting games coming up. Uh, up next is East Origins, and then after that is going to be the Elder Scrolls II Dra uh, Daggerfall, which I've only seen a little bit of that, but I've heard it's a very entertaining run. And I'm, I'm very excited to see how both of these go. Now, remember, there's also that donation war that has been happening between feeding the ruse and starving them. Let me do a refresh. I want to get an idea of how that's doing. And it looks like feeding the ruse is winning by $2.50. If you want to see them starve, get some money in. You know, I feel a little bit bad, a little bad for the ruse. You know, they're pretty innocent, as far as I know, you know, but maybe they have deep down guilt. And, you know, just, just having them starve a little bit will help. We will see. I do like one of the names that just came in for Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. It's A B C D E F G H I J blah 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 ha ha. It's a very complicated name, but honestly a strong name. Very uh, strong family history with that one. So, so that you know, the names that are winning, The Law is currently winning for the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall name at $75. Uh, the Portrait, Judge Dredd, is winning as well. Goes very well hand in hand. Uh, for class name, there is nothing. So uh, what class could the character possibly be? It is your choice. Go ahead and donate, and let's find out what we will have. Cactus021 gave $10 and said, GG, Zach. And I agree. GG, indeed. Right. I appreciate all of you watching. I, this was a really fun block to host, but I'm going to be handing this over to Wandering Mind. Hey, Thank you. Sure. What? <laughs> oh, my gosh, Bowie. Oh, my gosh. Pun. That wasn't even a pun. That wasn't even a joke. I didn't have one to go. Man, Bowie, you need to be prepared with your jokes because, holy cow, I'm prepared with mine. I have none right now, though. Wait, no, so I'm not prepared with any. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, we're going to go away. Uh, and I'm handing this over to Wandering Mind. Thank you very much. Until later. Hello, I am Wandering Mind, and I'll be taking over for Ghost King's run of East Origin, which really should be an, a cool run. <laughs> Hope you're all enjoying the awesome music as we get set up. Thank you. 
<laughs> hey, Presentia. I really need to have a pun ready to go. <laughs> He's still around. I told, did you hear my, my one yesterday where I said, um, I went to seafood disco last night. I pulled a muscle. Oh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, brilliant, thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, boy, what would we do without you? Two and ten have met, met on a roof, fell in love and got married. The, the wedding wasn't much, but the reception...